Here I have a WISE CX0 with a 44-pin IDE cable leading up to a 44-pin 2.5-inch hard drive. In the back I have a DVI cable going to my monitor with a PS2 mouse and keyboard combo. And in the front we're leading to a external optical drive where I have just installed Windows XP. And currently the monitor is pushing 1,200, sorry, 1,920 by 1,080, okay? Now the thing is, whenever I use an HDMI to DVI adapter on the CX-0 in Windows, when I go to a high resolution, it goes to crap. So for now, I'm just going to lower the resolution as much as I can. And we're going to reboot the system only. Man, this is so hard to do with one hand. Okay, screw it. 1,280 by 768. Apply that. Yes, we can see the screen. get around there eight by six all right let's apply that okay 800 by 600 on the DVI now we'll take out the DVI put in the DVI to the H DMI adapter let's just get all this running the right way hello I'm focusing Okay, now I see how you're oriented. It's so hard to do this with one hand. Uh, why can't I just have grown that third arm mutation already? There we go. Almost got that in, I believe. That's what she said. Just want to make sure that I, I originally thought that this might be an issue because of the adapter. Notice how that's blinking. It's all blinkeroo. Like high windows, goodbye windows. High windows, buy windows. What's 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 going on here? Okay, so we're just gonna do an ACPI power reset just by pushing the button. And this guy should just shut down, I hope. And then after he shuts down, we should be able to boot him up into the BIOS. See, look, Windows is shutting down. As soon as you go to like eight by six or if I remember correctly, it was the delete key to get into the BIOS. Beep, beep, beep. And there we go. We're, we're in the BIOS. And again, DVI to HDMI. Now, through all my tests, I have not been able to get any indication that audio over HDMI is going to work. So far, all indications. Audio is only going to be coming out of your front panel stereo. So, yeah, I don't know how well this will work as a media center. I'll try a couple of more of these adapters and fiddle around with some of the settings. I've gone into Windows already and tried to um, uh, tweak out some of the settings and nothing seems to work here. Straight out of post right into Windows XP. And it's just going to sort of seem like it's falling into a boot loop. Oh no, it, it seems like it's going to work, but it won't. There, it begins. I'm not exactly sure what's causing this, but I'm going to see if I can get to the core root of the problem. Oh, wait. Nope. <sighs> nope. Well, I decided to go ahead and switch out the HDMI to VGA adapter. And now, 
everything is working as it should. Right now, I believe we're running it, spazzing out. We are currently running at 800 by 600. Go away. And we can really crank this up. 1,920 by 1,080. Apply. There we go. That's that's actually working. 1,920 by 1,080. And again, connected with HDMI. So it was dead HDMI DVI adapter. Arr. But one more slight little problem. Uh, if you notice, uh, integrated speakers. But we still don't have any, no, no sound. Sound still only comes out of the analog front panel. It does not do HDMI audio, unfortunately. I don't think there's going to be a workaround for that. But then again, these guys weren't exactly designed to be like media centers or anything like that, so. Oh well.